Hola, mi amigos. Me llamo Wale. Bienvenidos, los cabos. Yo no me atrevo a bailar arriba de esa tarima. Yo no me atrevo a bailar arriba de esa tarima. I've traveled to Mexico a few times, from Cancun to Tulum to Playa de Maya, and Cabo feels like a totally different country, from the architecture to the stunning designs to the scenery to everything. And my favorite part is the luxurious resorts. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to tour the homes like I wanted to because I was filming a documentary for my client and time just wasn't on my side. I was still able to capture some dope area shots of Los Cabos and I'm so excited to show you guys. I did some digging, did some research to find out some fun facts about Los Cabos, which I'm going to be reading over here, right? So the very first thing is that Cabo is a popular destination to celebrities. It gets a lot of attention for its stunning scenery, um, its weather, luxurious results, and a lot of them own houses here, which I'll be showing in this video. Now, I don't know who owns what, but there's a good chance one of these houses are owned by celebrities, right? People like Kim Kardashian, LeBron James. The second fun fact that I learned about Cabo, which is pretty interesting, is that Cabo is home to the youngest sea in the world. I've never thought of anything like this, like when were all these seas discovered? But apparently Cabo is home to the youngest one. The Sea of Cortez was formed in the past 3 million years. Can you imagine? The sea is also known as the world's aquarium. They have some amazing fish in the ocean and other animals as well. They actually have a fishing competition that they do yearly and they award um, the best fisher, right? Whoever catches the biggest fish, they, they award them millions of dollars. So it is a big deal. The third fun fact is that San Jose de Cabo was originally known as Anuiti. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And this was discovered by Francisco de Bolanos in October of 1541. And before that, Cabo was originally labeled Balenas, many whales in Spanish maps. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? I'm amazed by all these fun facts that, that I'm discovering and I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share with a friend. It helps with the algorithm, you know, show this video to more people and that way I can produce more videos for you guys. This number four is wild. It's claiming that Cabo San Lucas is referred to as the end of planet Earth. Can you imagine? Um, this little known Molica stems from the fact that Cabo San Lucas is the final section of land within Baja California Peninsula. I'm not even, I don't even, I'm not even sure what that all means altogether, but they're saying that that is the end of planet Earth. Pretty interesting, right? And the fifth and the last fun fact that I have is something that I actually witnessed a lot. Um, I kind of noticed that there were a lot of older, retired Americans in Cabo, and today 70% of the city's population is actually American expats, right? So it's one of those places where the older people come and retire, you know, for the sunny weather, the beaches, and just have a good time. A lot of them owns those big mansions, the yachts, and golf courses. Like, I witnessed a lot of really good things while I was in Cabo. I was really amazed by the architecture and the scenery of Cabo that on my way to the airport, I actually asked this driver to stop over and um, so that we can capture some more shots. It is really beautiful there. Um, my favorite part of everything was really the mountain areas, right? Like the way the houses were built on top of the mountains were really amazing how, you know, it's really amazing how they achieved these architectural designs. All right, y'all, I hope this video inspires you to get out of your comfort zone, get out of the box, travel, explore new things, because the best way to learn is to travel, right? So definitely hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And um, I'm off to the next trip. Let's go. Llega la noche, se hace de